Almost all dental implants and its components are made of titanium and titanium alloys. To be precise, grade 4 and grade 5 titanium are used in manufacturing dental implants. Another promising material which is used to make implant now is zirconium. Zirconium implants are used mostly in cases where there is titanium allergy, which is very, very rare. Titanium is more preferred over zirconium today because of its highly biocompatible nature and osseointegration property. Osseointegration means after placing implants, in a week's time, bone starts to grow over the implant and this process continues throughout one's life. Basically, there are two types of implants. A single piece implant, where the implant and the abutment comes as a single piece. The other one is a conventional implant, otherwise called two-piece implants. Here, the implant and the abutment are different components. Both work very well. In our practice, we use mostly two-piece implants. Single-piece implants are used in very specific situations where the bone is very thin and very high. Or two-piece implants are used in most of the cases because it has got a lot of advantages. Mainly one is the surface area. The implants are bigger, so that means there is more surface area for the bone to grow. That means better strength. These two-piece implants can be customized for different clinical situations. Also, in cases where poor bone quality is there or we couldn't achieve enough tall, these implants can be submerged and loaded after six months. Whereas single-piece implants are immediate loading. In any living clinical situation, it has to be loaded immediately. So overall, single piece as well as two piece implants work very well, but it has to be used very judiciously.